So far this term, we've looked at three sentence types. We've looked at simple sentences, compound sentences, and complex sentences. So today we're going to look at our very last sentence type, because there's four altogether, and that is compound complex sentences. Now you might wonder, what is a compound complex sentence? It's actually any sentence that has both a compound sentence and a dependent clause. So don't forget that a dependent clause, we looked at them, begin with because words. Um, so it could be because I went to the bank, since I failed the exam. Okay, and a compound sentence is any sentence that joins two independent clauses or two simple sentences together with fanboys, semicolons, and or conjunctive adverbs and transitional expressions. When you put those two things together, that compound sentence and dependent clause, you get a compound complex sentence. Okay, so let's take a few looks at some compound complex sentences. In this example, you'll see that the dependent clause is in green and the compound sentence is in orange. So let's look at this whole entire sentence. Although thought to be indestructible, the Twin Towers fell on September 11, 2001, and that forever changed the New York City skyline. So let's take a look at another example. Again, in this case, in green we have our dependent clause and our compound sentence appears in orange. So Laura forgot her friend's birthday, so she sent her a card when she finally remembered. So the rules, you actually already know all the rules to punctuate compound complex sentences because you know how to punctuate compound sentences and you know how to punctuate complex sentences. So we're just going to put those two things together. So the very first thing that you want to do in all your steps is to find the fanboys, the conjunctive adverbs, and or the transitional expressions. And then you're going to punctuate those accordingly. So remember, if you identify your fanboys, look on each side. If there's a, each side is its own sentence and you answer yes to each side, you need a comma. If you're using conjunctive adverbs and transitional expressions, if the sentence, if there's a sentence on each side, a complete thought, actually in that case, you would put the semicolon, your conjunctive adverb, perhaps like a moreover or a however, and a comma. The next step is you want to find all your because words um, or your because phrases, and you want to punctuate those accordingly. Remember, if the because phrase comes before the independent clause, you put a comma between the two. If it comes after the independent clause, no commas needed. Okay, so two steps. You got it down? Um, and you might, if you're still having difficulty with compound sentences and complex sentences, you might want to go back and look at one of those videos, either the compound and or the complex sentence videos, before you move on to here. So go ahead and look at this sentence. I want you to read through and decide, does it need any punctuation? So though Mitchell prefers watching romantic films, he rented the latest spy thriller, and he enjoyed it very much. So remember, step one is find the fanboys. Do you see any fanboys? If so, go ahead and circle that. Okay, in this case, we have and. The next step is you're going to look at each side of the fanboy and see if it's a sentence. So let's look at the first part. Though Mitchell prefers watching romantic films, he rented the latest spy thriller. Is that a sentence? Yes, yes it is. So let's look at the second part. He enjoyed it very much. Does that work on its own? Yes. So remember, if you answer yes, 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 you need that comma before the fanboys. Okay, we have one more step. Remember, we need to identify any because word. Okay, in this case, the word though is one of our because words, and it begins a dependent clause. Though Mitchell prefers watching romantic films. So we need to ask ourselves, does this come before an independent clause? If so, we need to separate, separate the two with a comma. Okay, in this case, it does come before, so yes, we do need a comma. Okay, so let's try these two steps one more time. Okay, so here's our sentence. Laura forgot her friend's birthday, so she sent her a card when she finally remembered. Okay, so remember, you want to find your fanboys. Are there any fanboys or conjunctive adverbs or transitional expressions in here? Okay, in this case, yeah, it's so. Then we look on both sides of the so. So does Laura forgot her friend's birthday? Is that a sentence? Yes, it is. Okay, let's look at the second part. She sent her a card when she finally remembered. Is that a sentence? Yeah, you're right again. So remember, when we have two yeses, yes, you need a comma. We have to put a comma before that so. Now there's one more test. Do we have any because words in here? Do you see any because words that begin dependent clauses? 
Okay, so yeah, we have this because word is when. So when she finally remembered. Okay, then we had to ask ourselves, does this particular phrase come before independent clause? No, it's at the very end of the sentence. Okay, so because of that, you don't need a comma. Okay, so that's the end of our lesson for today. If you need more help, go ahead and click here for a little bit more practice. And don't forget to write down the keyword fabtastic because you'll utilize that and insert it into a D2L quiz. So I hope this makes more sense to you and I'm looking forward to seeing your progress in your writing.